Hello everyone, today I'm going to make uh, just a quick video um, on this uh, beautiful new frying pan I've, I've purchased. It's a Bakers and Chefs uh, non-stick high grade aluminum, this 3004 aluminum uh, non-stick frying pan. This is, uh, this pan's made in the uh, United States by the way, it's a USA product and um, you can take pride in that. It's uh, definitely a very, very toughly uh, and well-built uh, little pan. So let's start with the stuff. Uh, let's take it out of the box. Okay, right off the bat, you can see that it's a uh, satin brushed aluminum on the bottom, which is, you know, really, really nice. Uh, see the three rivets are holding on a stainless steel handle, okay, and uh, it, it has a silicone uh, rubber uh, piece to it, which is removable, by the way. You can actually take it off. Just, there you go. I'm just pulling it off, but I'll put it back on here. Excuse me. Uh, but it's on there pretty good, so it's, it takes a little bit of, it's not going to just slip off on you. There it is anyway. Uh, it's non-stick as you can see. Um, the metal on it is extremely thick. Um, give you a look at the edge of it right there. And, and uh, here I'll measure it out for you. Uh, put it down here. Right on the edge to get a real true measurement. It's uh, one point, uh, point one seven inches, uh, so it's pretty thick. Uh, same with the handle; it's uh, pretty well the same uh, same thickness. Uh, this is a heavy uh, duty uh, restaurant quality uh, nonstick pan. I'll show you how much it weighs here. And yes, it's going to cost more than your cheap Walmart pan. Let me make sure that's zeroed out. Okay. It weighs 29.9 ounces. Okay. So let's compare that to a cheap one, a cheap 10-inch uh, pan, and see what the difference is here. Well, that one weighs 20 ounces. It's got a plastic handle. It's about... I'd say about half the thickness, and pretty well you can you can you know just call this a throwaway pan. When it's done, you have to just throw it away, right? Now this this pan has a on it, you know, an excellent quality pan. Um, what I want to say about it also is uh, if you, make sure you take care of these pans; they'll last you a very long time. Um, in in the do's and don'ts for for care on a, a nonstick pan, and this applies to all nonstick pans, not just this one. And that is, let it cool down before you wash it. Do not take it from the burner to the tap. It'll warp the metal. It just, you know, metal doesn't take kindly to being uh, unevenly cooled, okay? So let it just sit and uh, uh, cool on your stove top. Uh, also, don't use metal utensils in it. Don't use a metal spatula, a metal spoon, a fork, a knife, none of that. Because you'll scratch the finish and then you have to return it. Do not place the pan on high, okay? You don't need the pan on a red hot burner. That's just not smart. Keep it at a lower heat, medium, and uh, that'll, that'll protect the coating as well. If you overheat it, you will peel the coating. It's a great product. I'll put the link in the description and uh, you can uh, see, uh, you can buy it from Amazon. And as you can see, the rivets are just super solid rivets. Uh, once again, this pan will last you a very long time. I definitely think it's worth the extra money. Thanks for watching.